North, south, east, west, it doesn't matter where you are in British Columbia, the number one issue is the same. This week we're in Queen Charlotte City, where a new mayor is hoping to bring more affordable housing to his residents. This is the first modular housing project on Haida Gwaii and one of the biggest social housing projects in this area has ever seen. And it's just 19 units, which may not seem like a lot, but in a community like this, it goes a long way, but there's still more to go. We had some concerns as, as a board, the Heritage Housing Society's boards, if if we could fill 19, we thought, oh my God, maybe we've over gold. And then very early on, there were over 30 applications and we went, oh my God, we've got a different problem. There are less than 5,000 people on Haida Gwaii, but changing demographics and the trickle down effect of Vancouver's sky high real estate prices has had an impact. There's a need. We've had people uh, sleeping on boats. Uh, we've had people camped in our municipal campground, uh, a lot of couch surfing like that. So there's been a lot of hidden homelessness too, but it's, it's there, it's a problem. Building purpose-built housing is a challenge throughout British Columbia, but on Haida Gwaii, where the municipalities are small and the distance from the rest of the province immense, it creates its own particular challenges. Logistics are difficult here in Haida Gwaii. One mayor on the island estimated any new infrastructure costs twice as much as the rest of BC, a tough sell in the non-profit housing business. Like a lot of the stuff that they brought on island had to be barged and it required special transportation and that in itself created a challenge. Then there's the issue of city staff in small towns doing all the legwork to get the province on board. Limited staff resources to kind of pull together these needs assessments that the province is looking for. So small communities like this just don't have the resources to be able to pull that kind of stuff together. And while everyone agrees short-term rentals are having an impact on the housing stock during the busy summer months, no municipality has put in bylaws yet, with Queen Charlotte City backing away last summer. It's a huge part of the our economy here in Queen Charlotte, but with tourism driving it and a, a, an influx of tourism every year, people want to cash in. They, they want to make good on their properties. Add it up and there's plenty of reasons governments here hope more help comes from governments in Victoria and Ottawa. A lot of the, uh, the housing inventory in Queen Charlotte and in fact all over Haida Gwaii is aging and it needs to be updated, we need renovations. Uh, uh, we live in a rainforest and so you got to keep a good roof on your house. More nonprofit housing, short-term rental regulations, having more variability in the housing stock. It doesn't matter where you are in this province, even in a place as beautiful as here. The tricky thing when it comes to the future is achieving that proper balance. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Haida Gwaii.